All right, guys, let's jump in. Messages from your masculines. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. What do you want to say to them today? You are pushing me away trying to control this and us. Please give me space right now so I can be sure my decisions are based on what I truly want at my core and not because you're pressuring me. So Divine Feminines, yes, I know we are like this. So let's take it easy, Divine Feminines. Let's pull back a bit. I feel like you don't know who I really am. I'm catfishing you, but I've fallen in love with you, so I'm to the point I know I need to tell you my true identity, and I'm dreading you won't love me once you know. So this person here feels like they're not the person that you see them as. These divine masculines, they think that you may be looking at them like some sort of a gold or something, but they're actually not. But they're still going to come. They're still going to come. I've been thinking of working with you on a passion project. Please come up with some ideas as well. So next we talk, we can share our ideas. It won't be too far off from now. I've been getting this message a lot. So your divine masculine, they do want to work with you. They do want to build something with you. They do want to create something with you. And like they said, it won't be too far off from now. So they are planning on coming to see you. They are planning on coming to tell you how they truly feel. They are coming in for that new beginning. And it won't be too far off from now. I'm really depressed right now. I'm going through a dark night of the soul. I just need time to see through this darkness. Please let me be. You see again? Give me a little space. Give me some time. Let me work through what I'm feeling. Let me work through this feeling that I'm feeling. Let me understand it. Let me know that what I... Let me, let me get to the point. To where I know that what I'm feeling is what I really want. So they're in their head right now. They're depressed. They're going through hurt and pain. Sadness. Evolution. They're changing. So they need that time to see through what it is. That they're experiencing so please just give me a little space that's all they're asking give me a little space i'm so ashamed and embarrassed i can't bear to look you in the eyes and tell you everything i can't stand the thought of making you cry just let me build up the courage to confront this see it's the same thing let me please just let me just let me get through this just let me be that person that you want me to be. Just let me have that strength and courage. Let me develop it. Don't push me to develop that strength before time. Because later on that strength is going to fade and I'm going to get weak again and I'm going to run again. Let me get to that place of acceptance on my own. Let me get there. Let me get there. Please and thank you very much. They never said please. <laughs> I'm saying it for them. <laughs> I'm watching all you do and say publicly. Maybe driving by you asking, asking folks about you or finding anything out I can, any way I can. I just don't want you going anywhere and want to stay a prize. So they want to know everything about you. They want to know where you live. They want to know where you go shopping. They want to, they, they want to know everything. Because guess what? They want to know as well, why do you accept them for what you see? Whereas they had to change themselves to please others, to be in other people's circle. Why do you accept them for who they actually are? Who are you? Are you this fake person who want to pretend like, oh, I'm pretending here? Are you pretending that you love me when you have Tom, Dick and Harry over there? Or Jane and Jennifer somewhere? Let me find out. Let me find out. Because... When people are, or, or when they don't have any idea that they're being watched, they show their true self, right? Am I right? They show their true self. And that's why your divine masculine is watching you. Let me see if this person is who they say they truly are. Let's see if this person truly loves me the way they say they do. And it's because they've been through so much. They're tired of it. 
tired of the hurt and pain. Tired of it. I'm tired too. You don't know? I'm tired. Look, look. I hit the car. This fell off. They're tired of it. Because <laughs> this time they're being thorough with the person that they're going to let into their life. 1001. I feel like you're too good for me. I'm afraid once you get to know me better, you won't want me and could find someone better. See that? Two messages right now. Where they feel like you don't know who they are. Where they feel like, like, like why do you love me? Like me, a all person. Like I'm a nobody. Like, what do you see in me? They're afraid, they're, they're afraid of the rejection. They're afraid of um, letting their true self show because they're afraid that you'll reject them if you find out. I don't care what others think of us. We are perfect for each other. That's all that matters. You see, they're not listening to the outside influence anymore. They're not listening or trying to pretend anymore. If you haven't been with someone in a long time, you may want to get your body ready for a change. Just saying, wink, 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 wink. <laughs> wink. They're watching you. They know you're not with anybody. They're watching you. They know this. They know this. I'm healing childhood trauma before I feel comfortable starting a relationship with you I feel could be healthy enough to maintain without getting so easily triggered and taking things out on you. Because all their mistakes, when it, when it comes back around, they're going to get triggered. They're going to get ticked off. And the closest person to them is the one that's going to feel that vibration. And they do not want to bring that to you. 707. So they got to heal first. The same thing I was saying. Let me know that this is what I want. Let me figure it out. I've given it so much thought. I know it to be my deepest truth. I choose you. No matter how things look on the outside, you are my person and I only want you. Please trust me on that. They choose you. They already have. That's why they're spending so much time on you. That's why they're watching you. That's why they want to know where you are, where you're going, because they already chose you. They just want to see that you're making the right decision. That's what they want to see, that you're making the right choice. Because they already chose you. When it comes to special occasions, I'm like a deer in headlights. I'm afraid to get involved and do something to screw us up or go down a rabbit hole I'm not ready for. I'm sorry, I can't. They're scared as hell. They're scared as hell. I don't trust this connection right now. Maybe it's what my friends have been saying. I'm just feeling skeptical. Am I imagining this? Delusional? Have you cast a spell on me? I hope it's real. It, they hope it's real because they've chosen you. I've made up my mind. I want you. So I pray to God. Oh my God. Please let it be real. Please let, please let this person be real. Please let this person be true. Please let them love me like they say they do. Please let them want me forever and not just because they see something about me they like. And that like is just going to last for a period of time and then it's done. Give me one more please. I know this has to be so hard for you not to, not to have me there. I feel terrible. I do care. But I really want to show up more solid. I'm getting there. Just know I'm with you in my heart and I'm praying for you. So they're praying for you guys. To keep you stronger. Don't underestimate the power of our love. Expect a miracle. Well, give me one more. Yeah, I want one more. 404. I can feel you in the energetic realm when you pray for me and talk to me telepathically. It's really helping me. Please keep it up. It's giving me faith. And that's why they pray for you again. That's why they are, what they say, um, what, re re repaying the favor. You pray for them, so they're doing the same for you. And when they feel your prayers, it gives them the strength to move on, to keep going. So they too pray for you because they know it will help you and give you the strength to move on. If I haven't said it yet or in a while, I love you. I hope you're ready to make some major life changes quickly because I'm going to sweep you away. Think about simplifying your life as best as as best you can because I anticipate this moving fast. See, they know where they're going, guys. I'm having commitment issues right now because I doubt my ability to make good choices and I'm afraid to go through yet another breakup. I told you they're scared of it. I have to learn to trust myself more. 1515. They are scared. They're scared to love again. They're scared to love and that's why they say, I want to make the choice. Let me make the choice. I want to make sure the choice I'm making is the right choice. 
because they're scared to love 7-Eleven. This has been your message, everyone. To purchase your book or go to twindflamed.square.site. 